During this time when I was 11 going on 12 and uh, the twins were two years older than me and Tim was five years younger and my parents uh, looked around at us and realized how rapidly we were growing up and looked at each other and began to talk about uh, how they felt about our needs and, and uh, you know, the, the morals of life. They could see uh, the morals of the world closing in uh, on us uh, as individuals and as a family. And, and they decided that, uh, that we needed to begin to really come together as a family and find us a church and a church family and get involved uh, in that way they could see all the good in the world in it. When we lived in Dolores, my mother took us boys to church just every possible time that she could. My dad was gone a lot and the two of them had some doctrinal differences and it just didn't click. So, he, you know, he didn't, he didn't go very much. But he began to realize the importance as a, for us to do this together as a family and so did mother. Mother always had. And so they came to an agreement uh, that, that they would do that. And that's what we did. We began uh, attending a little small country style church over in Ropesville, a little white church in Ropesville. And uh, we would attend on Sunday morning and Sunday night. And then in the middle of the week on Wednesday evening, we would go back uh, again. Well, it was in the summer of 1950, when I was just turning 12 years old, uh, one night on a Wednesday night, when the, the pastor had just delivered a message about the saving grace of God and how wonderful His grace was and the redeeming grace of, of Jesus Christ. And I had been learning and, and knew enough about what uh, I needed to do. And during the final song, uh, the invitational song or altar song, when the congregation was singing Amazing Grace, I got up out of my seat and I walked down to the front, just sobbing my little heart out. The pastor down there reached out and took my hand and he stooped over and he began to, to talk with me and ask me some questions. And I told him, that I wanted to give my heart to Jesus, that I wanted Jesus to forgive me of my sins, and that I wanted to begin to live a better life and live a right life so that when the time came uh, for my life to end, that I would have lived a good life and that I would know where I was gonna go in the next life to heaven. I knew very well what I needed to do. I had been taught by my mother and by the Sunday schools that I'd attended to in the church, and I knew what to do. But that night, I had a conviction in my heart, and I went forward, and I did accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and at that very moment is when I received my salvation. Now, I've got to tell you, I have looked back on that moment many, many, many times. I cannot tell you the date exactly. The year was 1950, it was in the summertime. I don't know the minute or the hour, but I can tell you for a fact, I was 12 years old and it was on a Wednesday night in that little country church when I gave my life to Jesus. I have looked back on that tender moment of my life many, many times. It has given me strength knowing that that redeeming grace was there for me then, and it's there for me now, and it has always been there for me. There has been times when I have stepped off of the, the path of goodness onto the path of not so good, and have looked back on that moment and realized, thinking back on it, that I needed to change directions once again, get back on track. And it, it has helped me a number of times to get back on track. I would rather be forgiven and get back on track than to have never known Jesus. And I know, I know when I die that I will have an eternal life with Him. And I hope all of you kids have 
or will experience the same thing or something very serious, uh, similar to this and that you will come to realize the importance of life after this life. I love you all and I give you this experience from my life with the deepest felt love as your father, your grandfather, and your great friend, grandfather. Bless all of you. I love you. I love you, dear. Thank you. Thank you, Lord.